I uh, just need to get one or two more things in order here. Of course, need to stream a little bit to Facebook here for our watchers there. Excuse me, followers, I should say. Okay. All right, that should be all said. Okay, like I said, uh, we're talking about the GXW 4500 series today. <clears throat> Just giving a little introductory over, uh, excuse me, introductory webinar. Um, pretty straightforward product here. It's a digital gateway because I won't be taking too much of your time today. Uh, like I said, for those who are just now joining, my name is Brian. I'm our marketing manager here at Grandstream Networks. Uh, if you have any questions throughout the webinar, please feel free to go ahead and use that Q&A feature if you're within our IP video talk meeting right now. If you're watching us through Facebook Live, please feel free to go ahead and use the comment section, and I'll definitely be able to get back to you there as well. This presentation will be shared as well, both via email and posted onto the comment section within Facebook too. So if you need it there, please feel free. I also have Phil uh, in the chat. He'll be helping me out there as well if anyone is exp uh, ex experiencing any issues. Anyway, though, with that, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Let me just share my screen. And we'll <clears throat> go over the device. All right. Okay, so everyone should be able to see my presentation right now. Like I said, today we're talking about the GXW 4500 series. It's our new series of digital gateways hitting the markets in mid-March here. So be sure to keep an eye out for more information within the next week or so. Uh, just to give a little bit of background about Grandstream, if you're a little bit newer to us, we are founded in 2002 and have over 600 employees, a full product portfolio containing everything from our business conferencing solutions all the way down to our award-winning IP PBXs. We definitely aim to cater and create that total one-shop one stop. stop. We primarily serve small, medium-sized businesses, SMBs, and consumer markets. And as you can see, we are a global company, uh, as many of you, I'm sure, are joining us currently from all over. Um, you know, we definitely have offices all over the world here. We also have our award-winning history, always something we kind of like to brag about here. Everything from our Frost and Sullivan Awards, our ITSPA Award in 2018, to our more recent TMC Lab Innovation Awards and TMC Communication Solution Awards. <clears throat> But to jump into it today, we are talking about the GXW 4500 series, our new E1, T1, J1 digital void gateway. <clears throat> Very straightforward here uh, type of device. Uh, it integrates digital PSTN and ISDN trunks with VoIP networks. Uh, it has a primary market focus on those global and local regions that lack the developed internet infrastructure to be able to support SIP trunking and SIP providers. However, on the other side where it can be supported, this is also a great solution for businesses uh, that can take advantage of an internal uh, VoIP network. Uh, utilizes digital PSTN and ISDN digital trunks for external communications. You can also connect internal digital infrastructure to external SIP providers with a device as well. So for those customers of yours who are looking to still maintain those sort of digital infrastructure investments, you could be able to do that there as well while still taking and bringing that cost savings of SIP trunks to them. So let's just take just a quick little technical dive into it. The series comes with three different models. Each model, uh, excuse me, the models provide a one, two, or four E1, T1, J1 spans. That supports up to 30, 60, or 120 concurrent calls. These devices, of course, support PRI, SS7, and MFC R2 digital signaling and it really supports all popular voice codecs, including Opus, G722, G729, GSF, GSMFR, and way more. We'll go into that in a second here. Also supports dual gigabit ports, can also be configurable as an out NAT router for those type of deployments that really require that. 
It has two USB ports and an SD card slot, which is great just to provide that external memory when needed. As well, like I said, being a global solution here, it provides multi-language voice prompts too with the device. So just so you guys can get a quick glance of what the model is going to look at here, and I'm sorry, let me get rid of that. Uh, as you can see, we have the two USB ports on the, the, uh, on the side there with the SD card slot. Our LED indicators just provide a very simple and easy way to read the device. One is on a server rack. 128 by 32 LSD display with down and OK buttons just to be able to navigate it right from there without having to go in from the back end. You can see the uh, two RJ45 ports on the back. So like I said, there's three models, one that supports one, two, or four ports. Your LAN and WAN ports are available, reset, and of course, PSU. So let's just kind of take a quick dive into our ports here, E1, T1, and J1. The first model with is the GXW4501, supports one of the RJ45 ports and 30 concurrent calls. The 4502 supports two ports and 60 concurrent calls, whereas the 4504 supports four ports and 120 concurrent calls, definitely in enabling you to make highly customized solutions here with this device. Of course, each of the ports are software configurable to be E1, T1, or J1, depending on the need. Supporting PRI, SS7, and like I said, MFC R2, digital signaling, just to make sure that this solution will work for any of your deployments. Upgrading and provisioning the device is really simple. Automated provisioning by HTTP, TFTP with XML config files. And you can upgrade it via TFTP, HTTP, uh, and a host of different options there. I'm not gonna just kind of list them all off. Uh, device management options as well. Tons of opportunities here uh, for you guys to be able to manage and configure the devices, really making it very simple on the reseller and installer side. All right, so like I said, it really supports all codecs here. I'm just gonna leave this up here for a second just because there's a lot, but really we wanna make sure this device can support any type of deployment that you're aiming to put it in. Um, so you can see we have everything from G722 uh, down to Opus. We also have added echo cancellation with this device, a jitter buffer, and silent suppression as well, just to make sure that all audio calls going through here are crisp and clear. All right, security, of course, is always a big concern here at Grand Stream. We always want to make sure all of our devices are locked tight in their security. And with that, the GXW 4500 series supports everything from SRTP, TLS, to 802.1x media encryption. We also have other advanced defense features, such as fail to ban, alert events, whitelist, blacklist, strong password indicator, all built in with the device itself and all configurable on the back end. All right, so when we're kind of talking about use cases with this device, pretty straightforward here. We have the digital IPBBX slash digital provider. And of course, then just integrating those external communication methods within the internal VoIP network and taking advantage of that. Another good option here is use cases for those of service providers that may be watching today. You can also take the SIP trunks and then, of course, integrate that with the traditional PBX or E1T1 J1 network that's built in within a network. That way, sort of supporting the already existing infrastructure within an organization while providing SIPs trunking services. Deployment scenarios, uh, resellers, installers, whoever you are, there's a lot of options here. Hybrid VoIP and digital solutions are a big one. Within the education sector, we still see on a global scale, still using some of these traditional digital PSTN and ISDN trunking lines. Hotels and hosp uh, hospitality, of course, still having those existing large infrastructure investments. Medium to large enterprise applications in regional and local excuse me, in uh, global and local regions where you still do not have easy access to SIP trunking. Of course, call centers, this is a good option as well. So just take a quick look at it. SMBs, the large businesses here, this is 
Similar to one of the primary deployment scenarios, adding a GXW4500 series gateway really helps take advantage of the benefits of having that internal VoIP network, the efficiency that it brings, and then all the benefits, while still being able to connect externally through the use of the digital PSTN and ISDN lines. So making that an efficient option where SIP trunking just really isn't available. Of course, the second option is the reverse here. We're going ahead and using that GXW4500 series to sort of maintaining that initial investment that's already been made in the traditional and digital, um, excuse me, internal networks, while then still connecting to the SIP trunks for external communications to really utilize that cost savings. Other options you may want to keep in mind here when looking to utilize the GXW4500 series within your deployments, call centers, really provides an efficient and easy uh, failover option in case of any type of internet outage. This is especially important for call center applications. and hotels and hospitality where you usually have very large and complex communication solutions that may still be on the way of completely transitioning over to a VoIP network. You can go ahead and utilize the GXW4500 series as a gateway to both have, <coughs> excuse me, uh, to go ahead and have hotline options as well as being able to go ahead and integrate some of that existing infrastructure investment. All right, everyone. So that is everything for that for this product. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the overview today. Like I said, very straightforward device here. Let me go ahead and bring myself back online. All right, there I am. All right, so I'll just go ahead and answer any questions that you have. Uh, if you have no questions, I'm not going to keep you, of course. If you joined us a little bit late today, don't worry. I'll be sending out in an email to all the registrants and participants this presentation, along with these slides, uh, as well as having everything posted on our Facebook page as well. Uh, so if you have any questions, please go ahead and utilize that Q&A feature. I'm not seeing any right now, so I'll just kind of wait a second. I, I understand it is a pretty straightforward device. All right. <laughs> Thank you for calling out my new haircut. I did get a new haircut. <laughs> All right. So I think that's uh, I think that's pretty much everything, guys. Like I said, I'm going to send out an email afterwards. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me uh, shoot me an email. When it comes to the release date of this device, we are looking for about mid March here. So please feel free to keep a lookout on our social media pages, our newsletters. We'll be sending out more information as well as with having more info on the data sheets, cell sheets, et cetera, will all be available to you via our Partner Connect portal. All right, so I think that's pretty much everything. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.